Good oral hygiene is important for your overall health. You need to take care of your teeth so you can stay healthy. Today we're gonna to be looking at the new Sonic Pick. It's a do-it-yourself at home dental set. This will be interesting to look at. Anyway, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I throw in a little bit of consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while I do a little bit of a DIY just because I think it's a lot of fun. If that's of interest to you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every single time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's take a closer look at the Sonic Pick to see if it's any good. I picked up the Sonic Pick at CVS in their As Seen on TV section and it was about $10. I really like that it has one of these tearaway backs. Let me get this. Ah, pretty easy. Um, let's see what this is all about. I know that it requires at least one AAA battery. It says that on the packaging. All right, so in here I have directions, which I'll read off camera. And then it has what looks like a flossing pick. And then it has the actual unit itself. Let me see if it pops out with ease and the actual unit itself. Pretty cool. It's got a protective tip on there to keep the um, scraping tip, I guess, from hurting you. Um, it has an on-off button. There's a look, what looks like a little LED light, and this is just a cheap little mirror for taking a look at the inside of your mouth. Um, what I understand is these tips just pull off real simple, and so you just switch them on and off not too difficult. The bottom here, um, it's just a little twist and a compartment opens for a battery and I'm going to put a battery in in just a second. Let me read the directions and then I'm going to test it out um, and just see if this is any good. So let me put a battery in, read some directions, I'll be right back. I would love to know from you, would you use a DIY at home dental cleaner? Let me know in the comment section below. Would you use something like this? Do you need something like this? Um, as I'm putting the battery in, positive side up, real simple, put it together. Let me know in the comment section below, however, would, it, would this be something you would use? I've gone through the directions and to be honest with you, they're not very good. Um, it just says one is the scalar tip and the other one is the flosser tip. So I put the battery in and I don't have a tip on here right now, but if you hit the power button once, you get like uh, a semi-bright bulb. And then if you hit it a second time, you get that sonic action. And the box actually tells me that I have 3,000 sonic vibrations per second. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this tip in right here, um, and we're going to see how this works. It's actually called the stainless steel scalar tip. Scalar? Yeah, that's what it says. So let's see how I do this. One. Oh, that's weird on my teeth. It's really weird on my teeth. I don't know. Hmm. Pretty interesting. So, I definitely think that this is going to clean your teeth, right? Um, I ended up using my fold-away mirror because I don't think I was going to be able to use this very well, but if you need to get into the back, I can see that. So I was at the dentist actually just this past week, and I asked them about this. I said, what do you think about the As Seen on TV Do-It-Yourself Sonic Pick? And they actually said, those picks are okay. They're good to use in between cleanings, maybe one or two times a month, but don't use it more than that. They actually talked about a client of theirs that came in that used it too much, right? So this vibrating thing in between their teeth, and they wore their teeth down near the gums, almost like holes in there um, between each tooth. So be careful if you end up do using this. They said it's okay to use, but be very, very, very careful. I will say, just the little bit that I was using on my teeth, I wouldn't really use this if I didn't have to, okay? I have what's called a permanent retainer in the bottom of my teeth, and that's really, really hard to floss and such. So I would use one of these maybe to get around it just a little bit if I needed to, but otherwise not something I would use. Now, the flossing tip on the other hand, it's a rubberized tip. You can see it move. That I would use. I can push my gums around, making sure things stay clean. Um, so for me on the Sonic Pick, 
I actually think it's kind of a product that might be a little dangerous to use, especially the way I just felt it on my teeth. I actually felt the vibration to my teeth um, almost hurt a little bit, okay? And so when I go to the dentist, it doesn't hurt. So I need to make sure I push that through. I would definitely watch out for this product. Um, if you need to use it, great. Be very, very, use it very, very sparingly. Um, that would be my recommendation. This is my review of the As Seen on TV Sonic Pick. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Oh, <laughs> hey there. Thank you for staying and watching my entire view video um, of the Sonic Pick, an As Seen on TV Pick. I was just using the rubberized gum um, one just for flossing in my teeth. If I were to do a buy or deny with the Sonic Pick, I would honestly go with deny, right? Even though it was only $10, I think it's kind of dangerous. I used this on my teeth for, what, 20 seconds? And it actually made my teeth hurt. Like, I almost felt it in my nerve or something. I was just cleaning around the gum line. Um, and so that really worries me. I think that over time, if you overuse something like this, and you're not really trained in it, we shouldn't be necessarily using this. My dentist did say it was okay between uses, but I would use it very sparingly if you do end up getting it. My advice would be mm -mm, deny. Um, I end up using these most of the time. So I got these. I think they're from Oral-B. There's other companies that have them too. Um, I like that this will help me floss my teeth. Also, I have this if I need to clean up with my gum. This would probably do a whole lot better for you than trying to do it yourself at home with one of these. If you end up buying it just for this, I think that might be okay because it massages the gum line, it flosses the teeth, and that's safe, but I don't trust that metal piece. Now, for those of you out there that maybe don't have dental insurance and can't afford it, I would look up dental schools in your area because they're often looking for patients to practice on. I know it might be a little risky, but those are mainly the four or fifth year residents who are ready to be dentist or however long it takes to go through dental school. Um, so that I would say is something I would try instead of doing this at home by yourself. This is dangerous. I wouldn't use it. Um, you know what? I was thinking, have you seen this review? I did it not too long ago. I actually found this on the Bulbhead website. It's a ice, it's by ice water. It's a three-in-one smart water bottle. It glows to let you know it's time to drink your water. It also has a built-in speaker. Pretty sweet and sounds great too. If you haven't seen this review, I'm going to link it right up here. I would love it if you clicked it. I'll see you over at this review video. Go ahead. It's safe. Click it.